Sonntag, Mayanage. Salamat for joining us this morning. We're actually going to walk around the Mongai. It's looking quite fresh. It's a very hot day, guys. As you can see, I've just had a shower and I'm absolutely wet through. Salamat for joining us, guys. This morning's walks. You think there's food available? So they think there's food available, so that's why they're wagging their tails. Well, we have a lovely, lovely bit of rain this morning. Thank the Lord. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, we've been needing a bit of rain for a couple of days, guys. So, it looks like we've got a lovely bit of rain. Well, awful if it rains, you know, a good rain pour for about half an hour would be absolutely spectacular because we need the rain. We do, we need the rain. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely fabulous. Looks like the carabao's enjoying it. Sugar cane lorries, hard at work as normal. That Jovelin's washing the clothes. Looks like the dogs don't care less. And it's a relaxing morning. Absolutely spectacular. Like the tricycles back. Right, guys, quite a bit of music playing, so I'm on a walk. So, I'll get past this music, and I think what I'm going to chat about is what do I prefer, the Philippines, or what do I prefer, the Philippines, or the UK, England? Like I said, lot of music playing guys, so we're on the walk, hopefully we can beat the music, no voiceover, absolutely fabulous, it's where we are this morning, and it's starting to rain, I don't know. Guys, what do you think to this? What do you think to this for a piece of machinery? Wow, absolutely spectacular. Yes, we've got music playing this morning. To walk your handy look. Quite a strange. Right, we've got a goat. But I'll have a walk around look. That's the engine. Absolutely spectacular. Got a little goat here, look. Hello there. Look at this for a piece of machinery. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Hello. Kids. Oh, kids are running. When kids see me, they always run to say hello. Hello! We've actually got a new store here. Lovely. It's a new store. It's new bamboo. So we have a new sorry, sorry store. Absolutely. So there's quite a few sorry, sorry stores coming up here. 
Absolutely lovely. Okay. Bye, have a great morning. We've got another new sorry sorry store, but it's probably been there for a long time, but that is a new one. So we've got quite a lot. Hello! A new sorry sorry store. <laughs> have a nice day. I think the I think this is a sorry sorry store as well, sells bananas and a bit of fruit. Oh carabao! That's your carabao cart. So that's what they have guys for your carabao. Absolutely lovely. Ah there's no music. <laughs> the girls, they always have a laugh. The ladies, you know. Because a lot of the girls here understand English. You know, if they take the time and slow it down, they understand English. But, you know, I suppose you can be a bit of a joke because you're a foreigner. But a bit of a joke in a good way is not so bad. You know, you have to learn to give and take a little. Right. So, while I'm walking here, I'm actually walking to this barangay. I'm going to have to have a good listen when I get home. Like I said, it, that's something I really hate to do, guys. Do a voiceover. It's just not the same. You know, you're missing a lot of everything out. So I do. I hate them voiceovers. Right, let me show you that. Wow. What do you call a tree? Right. UK. I've got to get a. I have actually got to get one of these big sugar cane lorries crossing this. You know, crossing this lorry, looks like they've chopped the trees down. So I have actually got to get... Morning! So I have to actually got to get one of the big sugar cane lorries crossing this little bit of the bridge. Hello! I don't... I don't know why you've come out barking. Yes. See, I'm standing here. You know, stand your ground. Mark running it, you stand your ground. You know, I mean, really, they shouldn't be running onto a public road and barking and growling at you. So that's something. That's just something you get here. It will change. You know, it'll take something drastic to change it. But you know, it's just what people do here. They just let the dogs go roam anywhere, and do. there's a lot of responsible dog owners. You know, but you have to be careful. Listen, you don't want to be getting beat. It's okay. A lot of you people saying, well, that's how it is here in Barangay. Well, okay, that's how it is here in Barangay. You know, if it bites somebody's kid, if it bites a guy, it's your war. It's your war. I hope you enjoy it. You know, it's dangerous. So... You know, if your dog's okay, good temperament, it's okay if they run out and bark. So long as they're not coming too far up to you. And you know, when they're in a the park, they're quite dangerous. So, needs altering. My opinion, dangerous. You know, one bite with them, with anybody's dog. I mean, if my dog's got out and they beat somebody, which they don't cost the playful, and they're locked up behind bars, so to speak, but I do let them out, they run around, they like kids, they like people. But if it be, if one of my dogs beat someone, then it'd be bang. And then, you know, you have to be responsible. Right, so this is where we're heading to this barangay. But, like I said, I'm glad that sun's not out. It's been raining this morning, as you'll see. Right, what I, what I wanted to actually chat about, would I like to stay here in the Philippines? Would I like to stay in England? What do I prefer, England or the UK? Well, <laughs> look, look, see that? Well, you've got a, a wood down there, you've got an old bit of music coming out of it. So, you'd be surprised where there's a place here in Philippines. You know, if there's a wood, a place, <laughs> there's always a noise, a big noise, so you have to do a voiceover. Morning. Good morning! See if I can get you your favours. Nice lady there, hello. She's white. She's a Filipina but she's white, pure white. Yeah, they have an affinity, the ladies. 
Some of the gentlemen here, they want to be white. That's what you like, why not? I like a nice suntan when I go to Spain. So if you're there and you're watching in Spain, thumbs up. Oh, Tenerife. A friend of mine sent me a message, he's in Tenerife. He's near a volcano. But I'm on free data, guys, so you know, I can't actually see any pictures right till I get to Mercia. So it's going to be quite a while before I upload a video. Now then, I actually do miss some things in England. You know, I've got so, I've got so much to do in England, guys. You know, there's just so much to do in England. I really have got a lot of things, a lot of blogs I actually want to do in England. So, yeah, England. In some summer England I miss. You know, I miss home for home bridge. So, I actually do miss that. You know, so there's quite CRF. Looks like it's a re really bit low. Looks like he's lowered it. You know, I mean, what's pointing by this? Good morning! Soy beans! Soy beans! Ah! I plant here soy beans and then go for uh, coconut. Oh, coconut! Are these? Yes. Wow, what? Are they what? dwarf? Oh. Ah, it's better. Nice. Better. You know. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it looks good. Fantastic. <laughs> Hard work. Have a great day. Right. So, like I said, dwarf coconut. I wondered what there was. Hello. Good morning. Morning. Come here, look here. I wondered what there was. I'll I'll turn this camera around. I know there's a ditch here. I I this is not from America. England. England. English. English? Yeah. I need assistance for agriculture. Ah, farmers. Farmers. Well, from England. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. I mean, it, it'll look spectacular when it's, when it's grown. Trust it to rain. Okay. Yeah. Black soy beans. Soya, soya bean. Uh -huh. But these are all dwarf coconut. <whistles> so it look really nice. Yeah, and it's a good crop. I don't want to focus on sugar cane. Well, sugar cane everywhere. <laughs> and everyone, I think dwarf coconut and uh, beans, beans, it's a good... in between. Yeah, in between, it's a good crop. Absolutely fabulous, right? I'm going to turn my phone off because it's raining, but it look, look nice, and it's good, right, guys? Have a lovely morning. Take care. God bless. God bless you. I'm going to get, I'm going to get wet. Yeah, take care. Right, guys. I'm under the big tree. It's raining. You see that little lean to there, and there's a, a lorry, a big van. There's a guy there in the field. I've just been chatting to him. You know, he asked me. I, he waved me into the field. Soya bean. He's planting soya bean and dwarf coconut. You know, it's going to be that field actually. You know, I think he's a bit sick of sugar cane. So I think that's an absolutely excellent crop. You know, uh, dwarf coconut. I don't know how many years it takes to grow. If I get time and it's not raining when I walk past I'll try and have a chat to him you know and see how many years it takes for them dwarf coconuts but I couldn't really chat to him because it started to rain and my phone's wet through so I've just got it a good wipe down so that's it look they're all hard at work and that way that tractor is there can we see it yeah we can see it it's just coming up the side of the field that's what they're doing so absolutely spectacular, you know, and you can see, look, we've got some young sugar cane here. But this farmer, he's decided, he has actually decided, he's putting soya bean in, into that field, and he's putting dwarf coconut. And that field, when them cork, he's put in between, he's put coconut in between, so in between, the bean, soya bean, is put coconut. So that's going to be absolutely, it's going to look really beautiful. Now we're at the ghost tree. And I don't know if I'm going to make it over there this morning. Now just look at that. 
Wow, is, is actually hollow. Is actually hollow, this tree. So I'm actually going to see if I can see inside this tree. Wow, absolutely. This tree is absolutely beautiful. Right, let's see if we can see up in this tree. Don't know if we can. But we're in the ghost tree. So that's it, look. I hope there's no snakes in here. Because it's a good place for a snake. You know, it's good. You know, it's a really good place. It's a good hiding place for a cobra. It's a good hiding place for a python. So, it's raining really clear now, guys. And I did actually want to head over into this little barangay here. Because we're going to Mercia later. But, I need a video before we go to Mercia. So, hopefully, you know, I can get over here. And I can get down this side of this field here, this wood. And I can do a video. But you can see these guys down here, like I said, they've been hard at work because we didn't go out yesterday. Because we don't have budget anymore. So I'm on foot. So that's that's that field is actually done there. You know, he's done a really nice job on it. And he's, he's thought about what he's doing. So that's where I'm going to head. I'm going to head that way. I don't know what's down there, but there's a building there, look. So, now I don't know if I'm taking the right road, but we'll soon find out. See, they're hard at work. It's all go, he's indicating over that motorbike should easily get down there. He's indicating over, so he's telling the motorbike he's indicating over. Right. Some good lorry drivers here. Right. So let me reverse. Wow. Right, so we're back on his travels. Right, so I forgot where I was because I got chatting to the guy, then it started to rain. So as I remember, England. You know, there is a lot of things I miss in England. There's a lot of things I want to do. When I do come back to England, if I do come back to England, hopefully I will make it. Right, I'm trying to chat above this music. Like I said, a friend of mine's in Tenerife. Have a great time there in Spain. One of the places I wanted to go before I come to the Philippines, Thailand and Spain. I was looking at Spain big style. You know, I would like to go up to Spain and live. Why would I like to live in Spain? Because I can get a job for a start. And Spain, it's, it's quite a beautiful place. There's many, many, many places in Spain, guys. It's vast, many islands in Spain. There's also a place in Spain called Mercia. Right, look it up on YouTube. If you're from Mercia, this is the path we're going to take now across here. So, so many things to do in England. My shoelaces is undone. Right, so I've got so many things to do in England. You know, I'd like to go up into Scotland, into Wales, travel around England. But, you know, I've got plans for that. And I know for a fact this is not the road I want. So, I think it's the other road I want. But, we'll just have a look. You know, so I'll just continue my chat. Right a, mo a moment. I'll chat above this mirror. So that's what I'd like to do, guys. I would actually. It looks quite dark on this phone for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because the sun's in. Yeah, maybe because it's the sun's in. I think it should turn out okay. Right, so that's it. You know, Spain. Spain is a big possibility. Gibraltar. Further up. Just round that that side and I have actually got a friend there in Spain he's from Mias I haven't seen him for over 20 years Ray Beryl Stephen Colin Gemma right Kathy right all from Spain Mias Ferengarola right guys so I'm gonna have a little walk so I would actually love to go to Spain like I said I can work in Spain I can blog in Spain but the UK, yeah, you know, 
there is, like I said, I would actually love to go back to UK and I would like, you know, I miss places like Wentworth, Home Firth, you know, so I do actually miss Home Firth, Home Bridge, you know, around that, this side of Manchester, around that, around that side, you know, and there's, I've, like I said, I've just got so many things I want to do and if, if I'm lucky, I've got 20 years to do it, so that's what I want to do. You know, I mean, I'd like to go to Japan, love to live in Japan, love to visit Thailand, love to live in Thailand for a little while, you know. But as, as it is, as you know, you know, we don't have the budget. Right, I'm going to have to come down here on bike. So later on, I will actually come down here on the bike because it looks like I can see exactly where it's going. So I'll just turn it round. Well, that's where it's going look and then it goes over there and it, uh, it goes onto the road but it looks like there's two chicken farms you know it looks like there's two chicken farms around here and that looks like it's a bit of a dike or part of the river so let's have a little look while we're here in fact we're going to cross here let's have a look so that's it look part of the river and it's flowing water lovely fresh water and that comes from the mountains and that comes from the mountains up there look you can see it's really cloudy up there and that is actually due to the rain because it's raining up there now right guys so i'm gonna head back and hopefully head back and hopefully i can actually chat to some of these guys you know get them on camera he wants somebody from America or England to come and work in his fields. <laughs> I don't think anyone in England will come and work in these fields, you know, because it's it's very, very hard work and it's very hot, you know, so don't get me wrong, England has a lot, a lot of very hard workers in England. No, I just live to work. Some people just live to work and they work, work, work. And some enjoy it, and some just work, work, work till they die. Then they've got a lot of money in bank, and then they're dead, and they don't get to experience life, you know. And the ones I know, they've always got an excuse. So, you know, you're not going to live forever, guys. Try and en try and enjoy it. So, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to go back to England. Don't get me wrong, I've got a lot of things I want to do here. On Negros, there's a lot of lovely islands I'd love to visit here, you know, in in the Philippines. I'd like to go to Palawan, Al Nido, you know, Sipalai. I'd like to go to quite a lot of places. You know, I would actually, and I will do. And don't forget the Canlahan, Canlan City, the volcano. She's over there in the cloud somewhere. So that's what I'd like to do, Canlan volcano live big volcano one of the live big volcanoes here in the philippines just one so many beautiful spectacular so that yeah yeah so to your comment which do i prefer england or the philippines yeah well, i do like the philippines i mean you know i've made a, a little few mistakes here and with property and that, if you're going to buy a property, right, whether I've told you before or not, right, I'll actually turn the camera around so I can actually, so I can actually explain it a little better for you. But, you know, I would like to go and buy a bit of land somewhere sooner or later. And I need to be inside the house, inside the house, inside the house, Guys, put some sugar in there, and let me explain it. Because you don't always realise, right? That's your house here in the Philippines. Right, and this side here, that's your carport, look, so that's your carport. And you've got land up that side, you've got land in the front. You want a little bit of land in the back. The little guys in our garden, but here, when you build a house, you Filipino guys, you know it's a mistake for you to build your house up to the neighbour's side of the property, right, build it away, so you can walk all the way around the house. Because what happens is, you'll get somebody, right? Good morning! So you get somebody, right? And they'll put a lean to up to your house, which they know full well, right? That's your lean to. And all the water that comes down here onto that house, onto your house wall, they know for a fact that is going to damage. They know for a fact that that is going to damage your house, your house wall, right? So it's going to damage your house wall, and they don't seem to care. 
But actually, you can do something about it because it is actually illegal to do that. Now, you can actually go into town to the mayor's office and you can put a complaint in and, and somebody will come out, they'll look at it and they'll move it. But what I've done, <coughs> excuse me, I just went to the neighbor and said, Hi, you know, can you please, can you please take this lean to, what's leading to? Can you please take it off the side of the house? Because when it rains, it's going to damage the house. And it's going to damage the house, right? And I ain't complained to anybody, I've been into mercy here, and I've got complaint because that's just not me. But what I'm going to do now is just leave it, and then when, when the rain comes through the house wall and it damages the house wall, then I will take action, and you will pay for it, right? You'll definitely pay for it, you'll pay for the damage. You know, I have asked, I have asked the neighbour, can you please? You know, the neighbours are nice people, I don't know what, there's somebody there who has an attitude because they just left it there, and it's, it's your job. Right, so I'm leaving it, when water comes pouring through the house wall, you know, you'll pay for it, right? And if it, the house wall collapses because there's such a value in the water running through into my house, you know, we spent a lot of money on the house, we bought tiles on the house, we've had it all rendered in the house, and then you can put a shit into, I made out of steel, into the house, you don't have a right to do that. So, don't think I can't have that removed, because I can go and I can have it removed, right? But because I'm quite a nice chap and a good guy, I just come next door and I say, can you please move it? Sell out, but you moved it, because you just don't care, so I don't know what your problem is there. So, I think it's, you know, I think time for me to actually move on. So that's what I'm actually going to do from here. This barong guy, lots of nice people in this barong guy. Like I said, the neighbours, they're nice. They are nice people. But there's somebody there who won't take the lean to go down and they don't seem to care that it's damaging our property. When it rains, you know, when the storm comes, it will damage the property. So, you know, I, I can lose respect too, you know, I can lose respect too. So, move it, you know, I ask you to move it back, can you please move it back, tell them that. So, when you're building house here, guys, or you buy a house here, guys, with a Filipino girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is, whether you're a lady or a gentleman, make sure you can walk around the house, you know, because you might not realise, you might think, oh, it's okay, you know, so it's as simple as that, really. You know, I'm not the person that's going to complain, so, but, you know, when it starts coming through my house, that water, then there's going to be a big complaint, and I'm not going to be very happy about it. Right, moving on, I'm actually back here, so I'll show you where we are. Right, so we're back here, look, nice chaps, nice ladies and gentlemen, you know, letting that lovely people here, you know, I mean, and I'm always polite to people, so, that's it, look, spectacular! Yeah. Yep, I'm just thinking, no. get your own video, you're on YouTube, so this is the chap I'm chatting to, and we're chatting about that land there, look, coconuts, dwarf, how many years? Three years. Oh, for to grow? Yes. Ah, so it's three years for the coconuts to grow. Wow. But it'll look. So you've been since uh, three months. So oh, maybe. soya beans three months. Good crop. Mm. So you can have four, well, three a year. Ah. Oh. Yeah, because you have to cultivate the land. So that's nice. Well, good luck with it. Intercrop. Ah, yeah. It is intercrop. Yeah. I can see what you've done, they've ploughed, and then what they've done is, in the middle, you can see, look, down each side, you put coconut, soya bean, coconut, soya, yes. yeah, it's good. After, after our base, the soy beans, and peanut, next peanut. Ah, yeah, so you like rotating a crop? Yes. You're doing like a peanut, a soya bean, next. Ne maybe sugar cane? No. Ah, forget sugar cane. <laughs> so forget sugar cane. What about corn? Ah, uh, sugar cane. Ah, yeah. And there. Yeah, I've seen. Yes. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, he's got a sugar cane field because I've seen him working in it. A uh, sugar cane is not good for intercropping the coconut. Yeah, ah, yeah. Maybe it take too much food yeah, so. out of the soil, so it take. And, and then co the, co the coconut is covered by sugar cane. Ah. Ah, so you can't really plant sugar cane with coconut? Ah, right, it's raining. So that's your farmer, that's his crop. Right, have a great day. Take care. Bye. I think, <laughs> trust it to rain. <laughs> trust it to rain. Right, I'll reverse the camera. So he's explained to me, you know, you can't put sugar cane in with coconut. You know, you, you just cannot. So what he's done there, look, you can see that, like I said, he's farrowed, and then he's put coconut all the way in between, and he can get three crops a year, a soya bean. So he's got his three crops a year, a soya bean, sugar cane. He's already got a sugar cane field, because I've, I see him in his field, him and his wife. He's a nice chap, he's a hard-working chap. You know, like I said, you get some really nice, lovely people here. So, it's starting to rain now, it's pouring it down. So, I'm going to have to pack this video up. But, guys, I'll be a while before I upload another video. So, how nice is that? Three years. Three years for you to grow your dwarf coconut. 
and that's a splendid idea, you know. That's something I would do. Exactly what he's done there, I would do something similar to that. You know, I would actually put, I would actually put dwarf coconuts in, and then what I would do is put crops in between. And that's a really, it's really good. And it looks beautiful, it makes the land look beautiful and all. And it's a nice cash crop. I can hear something coming behind us. I don't think this, I don't, I don't think this chap can, right, there's too much rain on camera guys, take care, God bless, I'm actually going to have to pack, I'm actually going to have to pack it in.